Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. You remember this one here from the pendulum painting video. All right, we're gonna turn this one into a cigar box guitar. And also, this neck here, all the way at the end of this video, you'll see where I got this neck from. So let's get started. The first thing I did was determine that I want it this way, this way and I liked it this way because of these lines here I wanted to preserve the, them so this will be the front over here and then I determined that I wanted it to be a 23 inch scale length and I also determined that I was going to do the pentatonic plus fretboard so I went ahead and cut the fretboard to the right size cut the fret slots and I also blocked and glued these so that the glue could dry while I'm working on the neck. I also cut the end of this off and used it for the heel here so that the, the wood style would connect and the grains would connect, which means I had to come up with another piece here for the remainder of the inside of the heel. So this has been glued up very generously and screwed so this is going to be a nice, solid heel piece for the neck. Next, I glued on the fretboard strategically in the right spot, right, so that it would be perfect. And now it's just a matter of hurry up and wait for the glue to dry. So what I do is I put a lot of glue on and then I just with a paper towel, clean, 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 so that there's no runs, no drips, no errors. So while that's drying, I'm gonna get some grommets, the right size bit for the shaft of the grommet, and then drill the top of the box and install the grommet sound holes and also install the input, output, whatever you want to call it, put, jack, there so that killing time while the glue dries. That's what I'm doing. Oh yeah. Notice the poster on the wall. Notice the shirt. back in the day. Now that several hours have passed, I can start carving the neck. And contouring it. And then fitting it in the box. So that's what I'm going to do now. The very first thing I'm going to do is take out these screws and then cut the back angle. To achieve the perfect back angle, first thing I do is I notch this guy here to be the exact thickness as the cigar box guitar top. Okay, so that, that notch is exactly the same thickness as this. And then I basically double that on this side here. So uh, if you call this, maybe we'll just call it a quarter of an inch. It's a little bit less. So I'll do maybe three eighths of an inch over here and then I'm going to cut, do a straight line from here to here and it's going to give me an angle, a back angle. Here I'll show you exactly. So I cut this off and you can see here how it's, this piece of wood here is thicker here and then it gets thinner, 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 thinner here. And what that does is it gives me this part here lower so when it's inside the box this is higher this is pulled back a little bit. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but that is how you get higher action over here. The neck is now starting to take shape. I just took off these edges with my quarter round router bit. And now I get to do my final carve and contour using the Shinto. I opted to leave the natural gray on the back 
and on the sides of his headstock. But everywhere else, it's been carved and contoured to perfection. If there's anything that I obsess over, it's the shape and feel of the neck. So now, I think what I'm going to do is do a little bit of artwork up here on the headstock to match the box. As things are progressing along, I dark stained the neck. And look at those grains, how they pop out there, my gosh. Just crazy. And then I also, ta-da, match the paint on the headstock to match the paint of the box. And just a quick peek inside. I have a piezo mounted directly to the jack. Quickly, I wanted to point out before I button this thing up here, is notice this fret right here on the inside. You say, well, what the heck is that fret there for? Well, what had happened was when I notched this thing, I went just a little too deep, right? And so I needed to elevate this portion right here so that the top of the cigar box would not like fall in right there. So I needed a little bit of a, uh, a buffer gap right there. So that little fret just gives me the perfect amount of lift so that this thing here is perfect. We are now all buttoned up and I opted for the heavy strings, the 44, the 34, and the 26, and I'm tuned EBE. Let's plug it in and let's trim off them strings before somebody gets their eye poked out. All right, we are plugged in to the Roland Micro Cube. And here are the settings. just kind of like go with all of these lines. Now, real quick, I also wanted to point out up close, look at all these swirls in here. And of course, on the edges, and the top side. And last but not least, and I will let you go, this, this, 
see the bench. All right, as I promised, at the end of this video, which is coming up, I'm gonna show you where I found this neck. So, check this out. Greetings YouTube and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and this video has nothing to do with cigar box guitars. Outside of the fact that halfway through this video I'm going to stop and I'm going to pick up a stick that I found when I was coming to work because it'll be a perfect stick for a cigar box guitar neck. So here we are at Intel. I'm going to put you on the handlebars of the bicycle and we're going to do a time lapse. I'm going to show you this awesome path that I take when I ride my bicycle. So let's go for a ride. All right, here we are, and that's the stick. Whew. All right. Yeah, this is an awesome stick. Just abandoned out here, perfectly straight, perfectly mine. All right, here we are at home, home sweet home. But I wanted to point out, check it out. Anyhow, so this thing here, look at the vertical grain on that thing. Perfectly straight, perfectly weathered. It's like petrified. All right, so let's go turn this thing into a cigar box guitar neck. <laughs> 